Hello my lovelies, welcome back. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do today, <laughs> that's helpful. Uh, I just thought I'd put my makeup on. Um, not a lot going on today to be honest. I'm taking Betty for a walk, she sat right here looking at me desperately. Um, I'm just going to uh, prep my skin with the MUA Makeup Academy Pro Base Softening Facial Oil Stick. You'll have seen this in my new products. So it's like a deodorant stick. And I'm just going to uh, basically spread it onto my face. And then we're going to put a base on. I've got the Bourjois 123 CC Cream, which has um, colour correction, so anti-fatigue, anti-redness and anti-dark spots and it's got an SPF of 25 as well so I'm going to apply that today I do love this base because it's so rich and creamy sorry if you can hear noises I have shut the windows but somebody's using a, a drill to get through concrete and it that noise really travels. We're also waiting for Storm Freya to arrive. I think she arrives here tomorrow, which is Sunday. Um, so that could be interesting. Winds. Hi, Winds. The Bye Bye Under Eye, the tiny one. They've brought out an illuminating one. Oh, gosh, this is nearly finished. Goodness me, it really has lasted. Um, which I'm absolutely desperate to try but I have a brand new full one of those and the small one has lasted a long time as you all know so I can't see that happening very very soon really um, but it is this is one of my favorite concealers it's so creamy but I always say to you I don't know what happens on camera um, I always put too much on and I don't really spot conceal on, on camera either, you know, where you just use a really fine pointed brush and then just really carefully go over your skin. I do if I'm going out and spending time, but I don't know what it is about filming. I just feel when I'm filming, I just like to throw everything onto my face. You don't have to do it this way. <laughs> And I've said before, how I put makeup on my face is not necessarily how I would put it on somebody else's. Right. I'm going to use some of the English Mineral Soft um, colour. Um, this is from their Blusher range. I'm going to use that as a bronzer rather than using a strong bronzer. I'm just going to use the soft. This is a small duo fiber brush from Sigma. I just want to sort of place that. Then I will actually um, blend it down, I think, with a bigger, a larger headed brush. But this is such a nice peach color. I'm gonna put a little bit over the eyes as well. It's so lovely. So that was soft from the blusher range you've seen me use the bronzer before because the light's so dull today bronzer sometimes it just doesn't sit right in that kind of light but that blush is perfect right um i think i'll use the mark jacobs palette thank you to those of you who have been voting for the palette for march um i'll give it another couple of days and then we'll decide each of them have got votes but the most popular one so far has been the fenty so you have a choice of the fenty palette the mark jacobs or i have the narcissist palette as well but fenty so far is winning that race Gosh, where did all those brush hairs come from? And I'm going to use the colour Fantasy, which is just this third one in. It's just sort of a pinky tone. I'm just going to push that onto the lid.
I'm going to use some eyeliner. I've got the DHC liquid liner, felt like eyeliner today. So, Oscars, how wonderful to see Olivia Coleman um, win Best Actress. I just think she's so sweet. And her um, acceptance speeches, I've seen a few of them. Oh, she's such a delight. She really, really is. So, yes, it was, it was nice. I didn't watch it all, actually. Um, and I do like my movie things. But uh, I did catch catch that. So yes, it was it was really nice. And Glenn Close is now what seven Oscar nominations, which I think puts her in line with um, Deborah Carr. Deborah Carr got an honorary Oscar, I believe, presented to her by Glenn Close. I'm sure that's what happened. Anyway, I love Glenn Close, but I was super thrilled for Olivia Coleman because I just think she's so, yeah. She, there's just something about her that I really, really like, and her speech was lovely, and she was genuinely shocked. Um, so she obviously just didn't think she'd win. So I just think it, it was lovely. So Oscars, a little bit of brow gel. I put this on yesterday, and there was a lot of it, the Rimmel brow this way, and it was a bit scary. I went a bit Joan Crawford, so I want to be careful today. Um, so, yes, and Andre Previn has passed away. Um maestro composer and of course if you're in the uk you may have seen it in you know i don't know i'm presuming maybe Morecambe and wise have traveled to many areas of the globe um i would imagine but in the uk of course andre previn will i think let's be honest always be known for his role in the Morecambe and wise sketch um of I'm playing all the right notes, not necessarily in the right order. Brilliant. It was just perfection. And the fact that he learnt the part on a plane um, travelling to the UK is incredible. His timing was brilliant. But I think also you can see how genuinely thrilled Eric Morecambe and Ernie Wise are absolutely thrilled with the whole thing. You can see, um, I think Eric Morecambe in particular, is just like brilliant, you know, he really was chuffed um, that it went so well. So yes, I've seen quite a few clips of the Andre Previn sketch, which is just, I hear the music, um, and when you see the orchestra behind properly belly laughing at things, I just think it, it, it was just genius. It was absolute genius and kudos to Andre Previn for doing it because my god the man was a maestro you know he was top of his field and it's lovely to see people who want to have a laugh um and it was brilliant so yes sad times but there's always his music he's conducting you know obviously he's made records that kind of thing but they'll be that forever and it is just a piece of television genius um i love it i love more common wise anyway but that's just one of those sketches that i still even though you know every step of that sketch it's still funny um i won't keep going on about it but i love it a lot if you haven't gathered right let's have some pixie um highlighter i like this and I am trying to use stuff up. Um, this is the Charlotte Dilbury uh, Powder and Sculpt. And also Lee um, Radsiewell. Radsiewell? Radsiewell. Um, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Uh, Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy Onassis. Um, her sister passed away. And the Kennedys... It's always been one of those interests of mine. I find the whole Kennedy thing, the Camelot thing, yeah, all of it absolutely fascinating. 
um, lip and cheek tint from B Beauty. So yeah, she passed away. Um, and you kind of hear, you know, how competitive her and Jacqueline Bouvier, Kennedy, Onassis was. It must be very difficult, sisters, and your sister sort of marries somebody who ends up being the President of the United States. And, you know, I don't know. Is it natural to expect jealousy? Is it wrong to sort of force that presumption onto somebody? I'm not sure. But I find the whole Kennedy story, the Kennedy family, um, John F. Kennedy. Oh, my mum thought John F. Kennedy was lovely. Um, I remember saying to her once, where were you when John F. Kennedy was assassinated? You know, because people always say, you remember where you were when certain world events happen. And she said, oh, I don't know, Rebecca, I was busy. And it just made me laugh because you always have this, everybody says, oh, yes, I remember where I was. And I was like, oh, I don't remember. She remembered being absolutely heartbroken and that it was just sort of completely horrifying. But she couldn't remember exactly where she was. Um, so it kind of broke that. I was waiting for the big story of, oh, I was at so-and-so, so-and-so, and then this happened. Um, but no, you know. And this is the shade, she says, looking bashful. I like the peachy coral tone. So, yes, um, I've always had an interest in the Kennedys. And Jacqueline Kennedy. Jacqueline Bouvier, Kennedy Onassis. I don't know why I have this urge to say all three of her surnames, but I do. Um, yeah, she just fascinated me as a person. And wouldn't you love to know what she really felt about a lot of things? A lot of things. I'm not just talking about Marilyn Monroe, you know. It wasn't just Marilyn Monroe that was in the, you know, in the mix. i just love to know what she thought of a lot of things and, you know... Onassis, interesting. Mm, anyway, uh, Lola Makeup by Purse. Um, this used to be sold in Marks and Spencers. Somebody mentioned it to me. Just to let you know, it isn't any longer. It's only available from their website, which is super reliable. And they've got all their range on there. So I will put a link. So Lola Makeup, the volume mascara. You'll have seen this in a video as well. Um, and they kindly sent me this. Uh, mascara you'll have seen anyway the eyeliner mascara and that lovely lipstick that you all really liked so I'm really thrilled you really like that color and it was absolutely beautiful I was gonna put it on today but I'm not <laughs> just to be awkward and uh, they're going to send me a couple more bits as well they were going to send me another mascara but I just said no, that would be greedy because you just sent me one and I want to really work with this. Um, so maybe later we'll we'll share some other mascaras for you all to see what the options are. Um, but yes, I will share those with you when they arrive. Radsey Well, Radsey Will. Mm, probably pronouncing it terribly wrong. Um, but you know who I mean. What else have I got to tell you? What I was saying to Craig about Andre Previn and he just said, oh, you and your dead celebrities. <laughs> and it's, uh, it just reminded me of, and I don't know if it's purely a Northern thing. And when I say Northern, I mean Yorkshire in my case. I'm sure people will tell me, but I don't know whether it is, but um, it's kind of one of those things where, where I'm from, People of a certain age would talk about all the medication they were taking, but then they would also talk about who died, who looked as though they were about to die, who hasn't got much longer. A lot of the conversation up north is surrounded by sort of really glum, doom and gloom topics. And my dad was always, our local newspaper, the first section he'd go to would be bereavements to see if he knew anybody who died. Um, and so when Craig said that, it, it kind of made me kind of made me laugh because I do sort of go, oh, that's a shame because it is a shame. You know, people like Andre Previn, you know, 
and I do like my movie star so when a movie star passes away I find that sad as well um but yes I do sort of oh that's a shame and Craig's just like oh here we go so I don't know let me know if it's something that you're familiar with and also people who need to tell you about their list of oh and that doctor said this to me and he put me on these tablets well I used to take the other tablets but I can't take those anymore and I don't know if it's generically people from an age that's gone past now or whether it still exists but it is a northern thing to talk about who's died and another thing my dad used to do and it used to frustrate me he'd say you know so and so and I'd say no and he'd say you do well he's died and I'd say oh that's a shame but I, I don't know you do his brother was married to so and so's sister who went to school with so and so and we used to da 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 and he'd go through this whole list and I'd still be none the wiser but the more I said I don't know he'd go you do I think I don't and my friend Lisa if she's watching this will laugh because she'll say you remember so and so we went to school with and I'll go no and she'll go you do and I don't um, remember people she was far more so I've said before my friend Lisa's much nicer than me far more sociable and made a lot of friends I've always been very dark and bleak and not particularly sociable but she'll ring up and go do you remember so and so from school and I'll go no she you do and she looked like this I'll go no really I don't and I'm sure she thinks I'm just being bloody minded but honestly I don't so that'll make her laugh because yeah she'll go yes you do and then she'll still tell me about this person even though I don't know who they are and my dad was the same anyway is it a northern thing let me know um this is max factor lip liner I featured it Recently, I saw it in Superdrug and it's in Red Rush and I don't need another red lip liner. <laughs> but I got one. There we go. Full lips filled in. That's a nice liner because it's not too hard. Actually, lip liners now just don't seem to be as hard as they used to be. They don't have that pencil feel to them. Um... But I like that. I think that's sort of it, to be honest. That's where I'm going to leave it. A little bit of Charlotte Tilbury. <gasps> Hip Pam. I'm going to try and find a High Street dupe. <laughs> right. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'll keep you updated on the palette of the month. Let's see. I think Fenty's ahead, as I say. Um, thank you for the chatter. Let me know about death and whether it's a northern thing lovely topic I come up with and I will leave it there I'm going to take my hair down actually little hairpins I bought them I actually have three but I just put two in obviously I bought them for my sister-in-law's wedding because I was wearing a navy dress with like rose gold accents and I put these in my hair um I did a sort of Spanish senorita um parting to the side that's what I did um and yes those of you that are very observant I have had my hair cut um it had got a bit straggly at the bottom and I just said to Craig the other night oh just cut my hair into a straight line and he just went no and I said please I just want you to just cut it into a straight line and he did and I looked on the floor and nearly fainted it's like that much <laughs> It cut off but it needed it so yes if you're very observant which a lot of you are my hair has gone a little bit shorter but it really needs a good trim so there you go and I, I do it myself to a point but sometimes I can tell how it grows that I'm not getting a good level and I've had layers before and I've done all that but I just like a straight level at the bottom and he did it which is great right thank you for joining me and i'll be back soon with another video bye for now